Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Pearl Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Well, this is episode 45 of the Paul Innocent channel and I thought we'd have a bit of a different one today. Um, I thought we'd take this opportunity, thanks to a good friend of mine, prompting me to do so, to uh, show you how to learn lines from a first draft right up into lifting it from the page into the camera and delivering the goods. Anyway, here's my script. I've been given it by my agent. I'm due to take that out on Tuesday, so let's hope we can do it. As you can see, there's the script. Now, this is the first time of me looking at it. So, here goes. The brief says, Scene 77, Philip and his long-term girlfriend, Sandy, are passionately kissing and cuddling in bed. Suddenly, Phil jumps out of bed, goes over to a drawer, gets an envelope out full of money and pours the money all over the bed. Phil starts laughing hysterically. Sandy doesn't laugh, but instead is extremely worried. Well, that's the brief. First of all, I'll read it, and uh, we'll see, basically. Now, I'm playing the role of Phil here. So, Sandy says, where did you get the money from? Phil says, fleeced old Watson. Sandy says, what do you mean you fleeced him? I don't like this at all. Phil says, that bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that. I won't send him down like he did to me, but I will take his money. Sandy says, what are you talking about? Phil says, you don't want to know. Believe me, 15 years that bastard took from me. From us. Pack your bags. We're leaving for Spain. Now, we've just done that reading it. Now, I'd like to be able to learn the words and see how different and how more appropriate it comes out. So here's a technique of learning. Now, as we can see, Phil's first line is, Fleeced old Watson. That's three little words. So here we go. Fleeced old Watson. Put that in the brain box. Then we've got uh, a line from Sandy. And then Phil says, that bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that. So far, we've got fleeced old Watson. Then we've got a couple of other lines. Somebody else says, and then that bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that. All right. So we've got those two lines learnt. Uh, after that, it says, Phil's got another line saying, I won't send him down like he did to me. So let's start again. Fleeced old Watson, line one. That bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that. Line two. I won't send him down like he did to me. Line three. As you can see, already we've got three lines learned. And after that, his last line of that speech is, but I will take his money. So here we go. So fleeced old Watson, line one. That bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that. Line two. I won't send him down like he did to me, line three. But I will take his money, line four. So already we've got four lines learnt. Fleeced old Watson, line one. That bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that, line two. I won't send him down like he did to me, line three. But I will take his money, line four. Already four lines learnt. So let's see how different it will be without the, without the script in your hand. It'll be, fleeced old Watson. That bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that. I won't send him down like he did to me, but I will take his money. OK. Now, before you put any accent on, you've got to make those words your own. Therefore, you've got to know the script very, very well. Let's start again. Fleeced old Watson. That bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that. I won't send him down like he did to me, but I will take his money. All right. So I know those words well enough to actually put an accent on. So here it goes. Fleeced old Watson. That bastard owes me, Sandy. You know that. I won't send him down like he did to me, but I will take his money. You see, see how different the delivery is? When you make those words your own, you can deliver the delivery with real authenticity and characterization behind it, knowing that the words have come from the character. But before they come from the character, you must make those words your own. Let's go a bit further. The next word Sandy says is, what are you talking about? Now Phil's next line is, you don't want to know. Line five. Believe me, line six. Fifteen years that bastard took from me, from us. 
Line seven. Pack your bags, we're leaving for Spain. So, here we go, Fleece old Watson. That bastard owes me, Sandy, you know that. I won't send him down like you did to me, but I will take his money. Then after that, with that break, so the second block is, learn it the same way as you did before. If it goes, you don't want to know, believe me. 15 years that bastard took from me, from us. Pack your bags, we're leaving for Spain. Let's do it again. All three lines. You don't want to know, believe me. 15 years that bastard took from me, from us. Pack your bags, we're leaving for Spain. Well, let's go from the top, shall we? Flea stole Watson. That bastard owes me, you know that. I won't send him down, but I will take his money. Now block two, you don't want to know, believe me. Fifteen years that bastard took from me, from us. Pack your bags, we're leaving for Spain. So, as you can see, we've learned two blocks of dialogue in about five minutes. And that's how you start learning a whole page. I mean, let's see if we can do it without the, without the screenplay now. So, how would it start off? So, if Phil's dialogue would go, Please, oh Watson! That bastard owes me, Sandy, you know that! I won't send him down, but I will take his money. You don't want to know, believe me. Fifteen years that bastard took from me, from us. Pack your bags, we're leaving for Spain. Now, as you can see, that's the page learn in a space of a few minutes. Now, before you can put any accent on, the dialogue must become your own. All right, now, let's start again. Let's do it with liver pumpkin if you want. Fleeced old Watson. That bastard owes me, you know that. I, I won't send him down like he did to me, but I will take his money. You don't want to know, believe me. Fifteen years that bastard took from me, from us. Pack your bags, we're leaving for Spain. Now, you see, no matter what accent you use, you must make the dialogue your own before you can do that. Now, once you've actually established some sort of accent, the character will suddenly appear in your head. And then you put layer upon layer upon layer of character on top of it over a period of time until the character becomes untransparent. And then you've sort of got a role. The rest is down to the individuality of the actor's personality himself as to how he shapes and thickens and puts mannerisms and things into the role. Anyway, I thought I'd do something different this week. That's it for this week's episode of The Pearl Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Bye-bye.